What's up fam and welcome to this episode of Rex's Photo Booth Reviews and Tutorials. Today I am on site running a selfie station or actually a virtual green screen with a mirrorless camera connected to my iPad Pro 9.7. Behind me is a blank wall. Here's what the entire setup looks like. It's very clean. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. In front of me is my setup, so real quick, we have my Canon M50 and I have it on a small rig with USB right here connected to my iPad with this adapter. And one allows me to charge, the other one allows me to connect the camera. Then, I have power, power adapter. This is the USB cable. This is my baby pin that allows me to connect the small rig. And I am running scenes or virtual green screen, as you can see, look. It's just a plain white wall, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and hit start right there. Right there. And look how clean this is. I mean, the mirrorless in conjunction with the virtual background, wow. I mean, that is just a sharp photo. I have different filters that I can add. So I'll just go with the, uh, you know what? Yeah, you can even do black and white. Look, look how sharp that is. It's very, very sharp, okay? And then I will go ahead and just select the original. Look at that. And I will choose, I can print. So I, I can select number of copies, hit print. I think print again. I'm printing to my 620A. And send, make sure the number is correct. I'm gonna send it. And this is the 620A connected with the WCM Plus. I'm running a Wi-Fi hotspot. That is the print. And I'm also running the additional uh, sharing station here as well. And so I can go ahead and QR code scan here. Pick this one. In the sharing station, it has the same sharing properties i can do another reprint i can i can do a reprint from here i can do a qr code scan a text as well as airdrop hit done and then scroll back through the entire gallery this is all my setup right here i put tape on the ground so people know where that ship is and where the logo is and i put a chair there for the little kids so they can sit absolutely very clean setup and i'm really happy with the way uh, booth.events is running just a real quick tip for you you see a little white box at the bottom of my setup that was a gift from my friend from ikea it is a cable minder and it keeps everything looking clean here's the photo that i downloaded not only is the backdrop sharp but also the photo uh, is sharp as well. Here's a close-up of the rig and the setup. 
in the office. I realized at the event with large groups and large long distances, I didn't have enough flash. So I added an external flash to the setup. Now I'm going to show you how to set up scenes in booth.events. Scenes is a fancy word for virtual backdrop, right? Not everybody knows what scenes are. I, I honestly didn't know what it was myself. So when you go to the dashboard of booth.events, it looks like this. I've already created this event and I'm going to show you how to add a virtual backdrop, AKA scenes. And you go to right here, events. This event right here was previously set up and I'm going to show you where to add the virtual backdrops and you could set up multiple and have your clients pick which one they want to use. So once I get into the event, here's the events, it has the date, the name of the client. I'm just going to go straight to the template section, which is this section right here. I'm doing a four by six landscape photo and I'm going to click change. Then it'll take me to the template section and I've chosen this one as evidenced by the check mark. I'm going to edit it and then it will open up the template editor. And the cool thing in the template editor is here built in, you can do text, you can add logos, images, you can pretty much build out your template here. But in the templates screen, there are two sections, okay? This one is the layers, which allow, allows you to layer your images, just like in Photoshop or Canva, and you can add it throughout the image. But I'm going to show you how to do a virtual backdrop. So all you do is click on scenes, which is a fancy word for virtual backdrop. And you can see I have one photo in there already or one backdrop. But if you go down below at the bottom right here, it says upload JPEG as seen as a virtual backdrop. So I'm just going to add another photo that I have here and hit choose. And it'll pop up here. So this will allow the guest to choose between the backdrops after they've taken the photo. So I have two photos here. I'm going to go back to layers and in this app, you always want to make sure that it was saved since booth.events has live sync. That means it has already updated in the server and the very next session is going to reflect my changes. I'm going to go back to the dashboard here. Make sure everything is good to go. And I'm going to go over to the photo booth and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So some of you guys were asking me about my setup. So originally this was a selfie station. You, we were able to add a webcam there or use the front facing camera of the iPad. But now we have DSLR integration. So I used a small rig here and to connect the Canon M50 to the iPad, it's very simple. There's two cables. The first one is the powered dummy battery to power the Canon M50 and we have this plugged into an outlet so we don't have to keep switching batteries. And the second is a USB, I believe the M50 is a USB-C and that is connected to the iPad 
right here with an adapter. So I have the lightning cable connected to the iPad so it can charge the entire time for the entirety of the event. And then I have the camera cable connected to the iPad for integration. After I did the event, I realized I needed more light. So originally I was using the onboard camera and it was great when it was like four to seven feet. But when I had to do larger groups and add more light in order to do the virtual backgrounds, I didn't have enough lighting. So I added this external flash here with a mini soft box and it is all wireless. This is the controller and that runs on, I think it's three AA batteries or two, I believe it's two AA batteries and the flash has its own battery and can be switched out. But as you can see, there are no cables. This flash could easily do a four hour event without the battery going out. And here I have the uh, camera screen just swung around to the outside because it has focus zones. So wherever I want the focus to be, the box shows up. And this allows, makes it easier for me, especially when I want guests to stand in a certain place and I'll show you. So what we're going to do is where you can see right here, I'm blurry, right? And that is because the camera is looking for the focus here is face recognition and it doesn't see me. But if I move it to here, can you guys still see that? Hold on. If I, it's very, very blurry. But if I touch right there, then I tell the camera to focus so you can see. So I want it to be over here because of uh, where my artwork is. So I'm going to go ahead and start the session. Here we go. And I'm in the focus zone. Everything went off. The mirrorless camera went off. The flash went off. And look how sharp that photo is. But what I wanted to show you is that in scenes, you're able to select multiple backdrops. So even after you've taken the photo, you can change it. In this scene right here, I'm standing off to the side because I wanted to show off uh, the, back, the background photo. But look, you can choose multiple scenes. So here's the other one that I had imported. And you can go back and forth and choose different backdrops after the fact, choose that, even has filters that you can use, even has black and white, which looks extremely sharp. And then, so we'll just go back, we'll choose the original, and then it allows me to print or QR code, text, Uh, airdrop hold on where's there there's the airdrop as well and then when you're done you hit done and that is how you do scenes and as you guys know a Rexus photo booth reviews and tutorials is not a tutorial without a bonus hack and the bonus hack simply is Whenever you're doing photography, especially green screen or virtual backdrop, AKA scenes, you always want to add more lighting. You can always use the same setup that I have with the mirrorless, with an alien bee and an umbrella if you want. Lighting is always going to be the key to great looking photos. And if you enjoyed this episode, or if this is your first time on and you learned something, remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Hey.